Detroit. What? Eminem's hometown hosted the IRIS a few weeks ago, the International Conference on Intelligent Robots and Systems. And boy, what a thriller killer gorilla it was. We saw artificial intelligence creating robots on demand. OpenAI announcing a device running an OS built by ChatGPT itself, and more. I'm Nick, and I'll hold your hand as we leisurely stroll through the Iris 2023 garden. But first, let's take a look at what's on the horizon. First stop, Dubai. It's a mecca for sophisticated nomads and connoisseurs alike, but this particular week, Dubai was poppin', because Jitex Global just finished. One of the biggest technology and startup events that brings together all the world's leading innovative companies just closed, and guess what? Our team has already been to this exhibition and got an inside scoop. Fast forward to early December, the International Robot Exhibition will kick off in Japan. It's a large-scale and incredible show where new products from Japanese robotics companies and not only will be presented. We're going to be covering both of these events, so be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on to keep your thumb on the pulse of what's hot. And now for the nitty-gritty. Iris 2023 that closed early October mainly supports student startups and novice engineers, but major conglomerates are also present, like Disney Research. Its engineers have been working for many years on robots that can convey emotions and evoke feelings in people, and for better or worse, they have succeeded. Disney's new robot without a name has already been dubbed the Child of Wally and Eve, although it looks more like a chicken to me. Nobody calls me chicken. Its design was entirely developed by a neural network, and it seems the AI has learned how to manipulate people's feelings. The baby robot stomped around curiously and trustingly approached visitors in search of a pat. Our eyes and ears on the ground say the cutie patootie was as alive as they've ever seen a robot be. And that's not even the fun part. Disney Research presented a new system that uses reinforcement learning to be dragged and dropped into any machine. As one Disney animator put it, thanks to its expressive movements, it's absolutely reliable and safe for the robots themselves and others. The system is able to train the robot's movements over and over again, incrementally changing things like motor performance, weight distribution, and so on. It ensures that no matter what the robot encounters in the real world, it will know what to do and how to behave according to its character. So, has Disney's robot made an impression on you? Leave a comment below and tell us. Animal-inspired motion and robotics lab won an award at Iris for its robot for rescue missions. The tiny insect-like bot can change shape and move in all directions, adapting to the terrain inside limited spaces. The M. Clary robot is only 20 millimeters long and weighs 0.1 grams. Meanwhile, it has four independent leg modules with two degrees of freedom, each driven by piezoelectric actuators. The legs are connected to each other in a closed kinematic chain through passive body joints, which provides passive body pliability to adapt the form to external constraints. Another student work was a simulated whole body learning system for a humanoid robot. This approach, by the way, is gaining popularity today and is used in some large robotics companies. Its essence is that a person with the help of a telecontrol shows the robot how to perform a task and the robot then repeats itself, generalizing and transferring its experience to all similar tasks. To control the robot, engineers use the tabless whole body control device and they chose the Jackson robot as the test subject. The system is not yet complete, but in the future it will be able to collect long-term data based on posture optimization and simultaneously move the robot's limbs. At the same time, it will take into account minimizing the torque of the joints of the whole body and controlling the contact force. All in all, it seems universal humanoid robots are getting closer. Good luck to us all! Another humanoid on display was the Hector robot from the Dynamic Robotics and Control Laboratory at the University of Southern California. This is an open source robot that is intended to be a cost effective, compact and powerful hardware platform for a wide range of humanoid robot developers. Project Hector will provide not only a robust testing platform, but also a software infrastructure, 
In general, soon every engineering university will not only have its own robot dog, but also its own humanoid robot for research. We hope that our educational institutions will have them too. By the way, the humanoid robot Bruce, developed by Westwood Robotics together with the Romila Laboratory, which visited the exhibition, was a confirmation of this new reality. Bruce is an open platform humanoid robot for robotics research and education. It's designed to be robust, functional, and simple with excellent dynamic performance. The robot is already available for purchase and we once talked about it in the news. If you want to stay up to date with all the novelties from the world of robots, subscribe to our channel right now. Engineers from KimLab, as promised, brought their interactive robotic backpack Papras to the exhibition. The robotic backpack system with interchangeable additional limbs is supposed to give humans superpowers. However, this requires the development of a complex control system that would allow simultaneous control of different actions of four limbs, plus two of their own hands. This is exactly what engineers are working on now. It is known that the system is called Multi-IMU, but its capabilities are still far from Dr. Octopus. Also, developers from KimLab have created a new robotic gripper which was inspired by nature. Now the question, try to guess which animal it was inspired by. The passive gripper can easily handle a wide variety of objects. The structure is borrowed from the dog, or rather, its mouth. Our faithful friends really easily grab objects on the fly, but the repetition of this in a robot we personally meet for the first time. Now we know what kind of grip should be in a robot arm for robo-dogs. The third development of the lab was a robot waiter home assistant, and quite original as well. It was the result of a collaboration between KimLab and Hyundai Robotics. The mobile base was the HD Hyundai Robotics B1 robot. There are two arm mounts on each side of its torso, and a mount for a possible head or a camera on top. But why not add an arm there too, the engineers decided. The robot can get and deliver objects as well as clean up, picking up everything unnecessary from the floor, without any human interaction. What do you think of this solution, and student work in general, at IRIS? Comment below! In other news, a real breakthrough in robotics was made by American scientists. They have developed an artificial intelligence-based algorithm that uses quote-unquote compressed evolution to design robots in seconds. Moreover, it can be deployed on an ordinary computer. You just need to give the AI the desired characteristics of the robot and it will almost instantly develop an optimal device design. The algorithm is not bound by human prejudices and biases and is guided only by the principles of evolution. For example, engineers asked the AI to create a robot from scratch that can walk on a flat surface. Starting with a rectangular piece of material, the algorithm developed several successive designs, each based on the computer simulated successes and failures of previous designs. After 26 seconds and 9 such generations, the system achieved a design that could walk half of its body length per second using three inline legs. Yes, the robot looks primitive, but after all, the AI was only aiming for the ability to walk. Perhaps this approach will help solve all or at least part of the problems that roboticists face today. And it's likely that the resulting robots will surprise us. And researchers from the University of Bristol in the UK have developed a robot for clinical studies of women's breasts. So far, it's a prototype, but according to the developers, it can detect seals that could indicate cancer. What's more, the developers say the iris device, whose arm is 3D printed, uses tactile sensors that can detect lumps deeper than human hands. While the robot is practicing on silicon breasts, when it comes to practical applications, the developers are talking about installing the machines in pharmacies, medical centers, and other public places. Have you ever seen a drone drop an anti-submarine torpedo? BAE Systems and Malloy Aeronautics demonstrated this in a recent NATO exercise off the coast of Portugal. The Stingray torpedo was launched using a T-600 quadcopter. It looks like a classic photography drone, but it's actually a heavy drone with a payload capacity of 200 kilograms, a speed of 140 kilometers per hour, and a range of 80 kilometers. The drone doesn't actually have to drop torpedoes. This is just a vivid visual demonstration. In practice, the T-600 can be used to carry a variety of cargo. 
According to BAE Systems, the T600 will form the basis for the all-new T650 all-electric heavy-lift UAV with rapid reconfiguration capabilities for military, commercial, and humanitarian markets. The Robotics and Mechanisms Lab at the University of California, Los Angeles is creating the perfect robot chef. Why is it perfect? Because it combines two opposing approaches to kitchen robots. Project Yori combines a robot-optimized environment with a pair of arms that can operate kitchen tools like a human. Usually engineers either try to create a robot optimized for a typical kitchen or create an automaton whose repertoire is quite limited. The developers from Romila decided to combine both approaches and create a system that can cook different dishes as delicious as a human, performing individual actions the way a robot can. Yori can use different tools for cooking, as well as unique chemical sensors that can, for example, determine the freshness of food and the degree of readiness of dishes. It's probably some sort of robotic equivalent of the human nose and taste buds. There are rumors online that Sam Altman wants to create some kind of device that will be based on generative artificial intelligence similar to ChatGPT. Whether it will be an alternative to a smartphone or something else is still unknown. The rumors, courtesy of the information, are backed up by information that Altman is collaborating with ex-Apple designer Joe Ivey, who specializes in custom devices. Just imagine a smartphone with an OS that generates real-time apps based on what the user needs or automatically picks up the information they need by hearing their conversation. Apple itself is working on artificial intelligence tools to compete with developments from OpenAI, Google, and others. But the company has yet to develop a clear strategy for releasing the technology to consumers. By the way, OpenAI has given ChatGPT back full access to the internet. Now, the neural network is not limited to the 2021 data it was trained on and can provide users with up-to-date information, complete with direct links to sources. The new features are already available to ChatGPT Plus and enterprise subscribers. Subscribe to this channel, like the video, and don't miss our new releases from the world of high tech. Also, don't forget, we have a Telegram channel where we have not only the latest news, but also interesting discussions. Come on, join in. Join right now.